ഐ എം എൻ ചെന്നി മണിസ്വാമി ഫ്രം ഡോക്ടർ മഹാലിംഗം കോളേജ് ഓഫ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ടെക്നോളജി പൊള്ളാച്ചി ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഹാവ് യു ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ജാവ ക്ലാസസ് ആൻഡ് ഓബ്ജെക്ട്സ് ദ ടോപിക്സ് ക്ലാസസ് ആൻഡ് ഓബ്ജെക്ട്സ് ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിംഗ് ക്ലാസ് ക്രിയേറ്റിംഗ് ക്ലാസ് ആൻഡ് മേക്കിംഗ് ഓബ്ജെക്ട്സ് വിച്ച് വിൽ ബി കവേഡ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ അറ്റ് ലാസ്റ്റ് യു വിൽ അറ്റൻഡ് LPD activity in modem learning activity of this lecture students will be able to recognize the procedure of implementing classes and describe the procedure of creating classes numbers and objects in java any entity that has state and behavior is known as an object for the example pen table keyboard bike etc it can be physical and logical next we define a class collection of objects is called class it is a logical entity let us begin there are three things in front of you there are three objects what is one thing common between all of them there are a lot of things common between all of them but how will you classify them so you can term them as smartphones so in the real world what happens is there are various objects of the same kind now an iphone is a smartphone which runs the ios the samsung which runs the android ios this is not fun so there are various objects you can call this as objects of smartphone no we can say that there is a class smartphone and these phones are in sense of that class no class here kind of stands for a blueprint from which the individual objects are created so you can say say that there is a smartphone class and it can have various kind of smartphones thousands of smartphones that can have an iphone that can have a redmi let us now write a code for the same as in how it will look in java so we use the class keyword and we define the name of the class smartphone now what you are looking at are fields and these fields define the state of the object so i have just taken four fields here but that can be many and for a class like smartphone there are many fields so there is a string manufacturer there is a string model there is a table storage which tells the storage smartphone has and there is a table the speed of processing 
in phone. Now, the object of smartphone will be defining their own values of these fields. For example, an iPhone might have 1 GB of storage. Now, on other hand, Blackberry might have 2 GB of storage. Now, we will learn to define a new data type, for example, smartphone. This new type can be used to create objects of that type. Therefore, a class is a template for an object and an object is an instance of a class. Let us now create another class box. We will be defining three fields or length, width and height. Now we will understand about creating an object. Syntax for creating object is class name object name is equal to new class name. For example, box pen box is equal to new box. Here box is class name and pen box is object name. The object pen box have three fields. There are length, breadth and height. Each object has its own set of instance variables. Now we are going to discuss how we will be accessing fields of object using dot operator in Java. Length of the pen box is accessed by pen box dot length. The length value of the pen box is assigned by pen box dot length equal to 25. Think and write answer for the question. How will you assign the breadth and the height of the pen box? Pause this video for 2 minutes and then play this video. Let me tell the answer for that question. We can assign the product and the height of pen box by pen box dot breadth equal to 5, pen box dot height equal to 3. In summary of this lecture, we learned that the class is a blueprint from which individual objects are created, classes are frameworks and objects are physical reality. Objects are created using new operator. Classes have data and methods. Data represent state and method represent behavior. Now you can attend a learning by doing activity in Moodle. Click the link and log in as username student underscore test was the test at student1. Thank you for listening video.